Okay, hello dear friends, let's do some exercise. This one is change degree to radians. The first one, 135 degree. I always like to use a ratio, 135 to 180. 180 is 1 pi. And it's x, x equal 180 over 135 pi equal 5, 5 is 3, this 145 can be divided by 9. Okay, what I'm doing? Divided by 9 is 20. And this one is 9 is um, 19 and by 5 is 4, 3, so 4 pi. And with time you get uh, accustomed to it. Is that clear enough? I will do it in a larger. So 135 degree, before you know how to do it. 135 degree is how many how many in radian because 180 degree is 1 pi, right? So 180 both divided by 9 divided by 9. So 20 15 equal pi x and divided by 4 that divided by 5 divided by 5 so 4 over 3 equal pi over x x equal 4 3 pi okay this is number 5 so 5 is 7 pi. Oh, we already know it's 135 degree. Otherwise, you can do this. So 7 pi b pi equal 180 x. 7 pi b pi pi. We can take it out. So, seven hundred three x and uh, <coughs> divided by two. This is two. This is ninety. Three two x equal 217x equal 135 find the exact value of each expression 9 9 <coughs> tangent 4 pi minus sine 6 pi tangent 4 pi is tangent 45 do sine 30 so tangent 45 do is e sine 30 do is 2分之一等于2分之一 number 10 no 1579 number 13 
Number 13 is 6 times cosine 四分之三派减加二比tangent负的三分之派 So I'm more comfortable with a uh, uh, degree instead of uh, this 135度加上二倍 tangent 负60度 Right? So <coughs> Okay, we come to this chart This is a unit circle and this value is x negative for the alphabetical and the cosine is x value is 6 times negative r jiaxia 2 tangent uh, 2 tangent let's see 60度, and then the x value is r y value is food r and tangent is y to x, y is full r so it's a full sun, two times negative three, so negative three times neg uh, square root two minus two times square root three that's the answer let's check if we are right yes i made it right we take a look at 17. 17 is tangent pi plus sine pi. I think it's zero because tangent is pi is 100 degree by this value x is x is negative one y value is zero so tangent pi is y bx is zero and sine is y value y is zero so is zero equal zero twenty-one sine square twenty degree plus second square 20 degree reciprocal sine square 20 and second is the reciprocal of cosine so equal cosine square 20 degree so equal to 1 25 sine 50 degree divided by cosine 40 degree we know sine 50 degree is sine 50 degree cosine 40 degree is sine 50 degree so it's 1 29 sine 400 degree second negative 450 degree 
sine 400 degree is sine 30. 350 degree plus 40 degree. Second, we can do it as uh, cosine negative 50 degree equal sine 40 degree is cosine 50 degree times cosine negative 50 degree because it's a negative 50 degree it's a x value so it's positive it's positive and uh, <coughs> sine negative cosine negative and cosine positive is the same value it's equal to cosine 50 degree equal to 1. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. 29 is 1. Okay, 33. Tangent. Theta is a hundred sure. sine theta xiaoyu ling. So sine theta xiaoyu ling. Sine theta xiaoyu ling. So its y value is. Um, uh, <clears throat> let's come back to this one sign sign is y value so it's in this two uh, in third and fourth quadrant and tangent is uh, a positive value so that it's negative to negative so it must be in the third quadrant and in the third quadrant and we know <coughs> uh, x is a five um, so how do we do it? So this value must be tangent, it must be here, and uh, y must be x, x must be negative 13 over 5 y must be negative 13 over 12 we can get x squared plus y squared is uh, 13 over 5 okay now we get it so sine theta is negative 12 over uh, 12 over 13 and uh, sine cosine theta is x value will be negative 13 over 5 tangent sine, cosine, and tangent equal 5 over 12 sine and then we can do cosecant cosine is uh, uh, secant is negative 5 13 over 5 Cosecant is negative uh, 13 
over 12 and the cotangent is 5 over 12. Okay, now we do 37, that is sine theta equal 13, 12. Oh, it's the same. And theta in quadrant second, quadrant second. Now we see sine is y value. Now we can find this point here. Sign and uh, so it's very close to one. Sign. So it's here, very close to one. So the y value is very close to one, and the second quadrant x is negative. X is negative 13 over 5. Y is 13 over 12. Second quadrant. Now we can get the sign. Now we will get from this point cosine is negative 13 over 5 tangent is negative y bx y is 12 x5 now we know sine and then we can know co 10 co secant is 12, 13 over 12, and the second is negative 13 over 5, and the cotangent is negative 5 over 12.